YT Dan Duel Links is brought to you by Dank Duelists Like You. Become a YouTube member to never miss. What's going on my boys? YT Dan back again with another Duel Links video. And man, I gotta come back to talk to you guys about Truth Universe. This new set is still trash. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I don't necessarily feel like this box has everything that makes it, you know, worth you going in to spend a ton of money on it, being real with you 100%. Um, the only deck that's worth playing in here is the DDD deck. And I feel like right now that even though there are lots of other potential opportunities for people to play different things, I don't think that it's fully worth your investment. But for those of you who have invested in this box already, those of you that have one or two uh, double D slime at least, I'm making this video because I have found the justice within the truth universe. All right, my boys, we're back again with the new version of the triple D's. Now, the reason why I was inspired to make another video on this deck is because after defeating someone on their KOG rank up, it really made me sit back and question, is this deck actually viable or did I just steal this man's KOG rank up on a meme? And at that moment, I decided to get even more serious about this deck as I was continuing to play. And I realized that the best version of this deck, the best possible skill to use with this deck is baggy sleeves, hands down, beat down, balance, no mortals can resist all okay but baggy sleeves is perfect because baggy sleeves will give you the ability to draw an extra card off of artifact virage and you don't need to play more than one artifact virage because if artifact virage isn't in your hand or even if it is in your hand your turn one opening play should be to summon triple d dragon bane king beowulf because if your opponent sets back row you can destroy it if they don't set back row you can destroy them and if they don't deal with uh beowulf because he is a 3000 attacking monster you know all the positive effects of pretty much game come after that so this card is strong enough to hold off a baggy sleeves thunder dragon deck which you will see and it's strong enough to hold off many other decks with its 3000 base stats and then allowing him to sit on the field as one turn is literally calamitous because there's nothing your opponent can really do to counter his effect when he destroys all spell and traps in the standby phase. It even leaves the dark magician open because destroying dark magic circle and forcing them to activate um, their trap card early takes away their only power and their only power is control over that turn where they have circle activated and um, navigation set. So I really feel like now this deck is gonna start really coming into prominence. I've already seen a lot of people playing this deck with different versions such as uh, Balance and of course, No Mortals Can Resist, etc., etc. But I believe Baggy Sleeves may be the definitive skill. With Artifact Virage, it's just even more reasons to give you one turn to collect enough cards so you can take the game. And we're running two Hey True Nades because off of Baggy Sleeves, it's just phenomenal. Now we're running Lava Golem in here for your Alistair, to play against your Alistair decks. You know, decks that make ridiculously powerful monsters or decks that can set up brick walls that you cannot penetrate. The funny thing about Lava Golem is, it's a perfect fit for the uh, Triple D deck because when you think about it, there is no normal summon in this deck except for your DD Night Howl. So you can call it pretty much your Howl Summon. If you use your Howl Summon to do the Synchro to summon Triple D Gus King Alexander, then you can't play your Lava Golem, of course. But if you just use cards like Dark Contract with the Gate, then you use Dark Contract uh, with the Swamp King to fuse in your graveyard, and you're using cards like DD Swirl Slime to fuse cards in the hand and on the field. And then you're also using DD Swirl Slime to special summon from the graveyard, special summon from your hand, um, your Dragon King pen dragon i really feel like lava golem is just a perfect easy fit for this deck and it works really well so I, that's all i really want to share i think that this deck will be a new tier deck 
Um, it will take a top tier role. It will take a top tier place, but it, only if you boys are playing it. And if it simply doesn't climb, it's probably just simply because people did not buy into the box. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate everybody coming through to watch this video. And as always, keep it dank. This video is sponsored by The Learning Bean Online. The Learning Bean provides supplementary educational tools for students and business professionals in the field of accounting, business, economics, communication, and much more. To get started, use the code YTDAN20 to receive a 20% discount forever. Thanks again to The Learning Bean for sponsoring this video. And as always, keep it dank.
running with the light.